And now to Bolivia, where the movement to modify the constitution to allow for Morales to run for re-election in the year 2020 continues to grow. Our correspondent in La Paz, Dimitri O'Donnell, has the story. They came in their thousands from all over the country to support a man they call a hero. Forming part of a broad social movement, the groups are backing Evo Morales to stay on as president. To do this, they will have to amend Bolivia's constitution so Morales can run for re-election in 2020. Today is a historic day at a national level and globally because the Bolivian people want the president to continue to transform this country. Evo is the best president of Bolivia and in the world. We have our president. We have Evo. The plan comes just eight months after Bolivia's first indigenous president won a third term. But that victory hasn't satisfied Evo Morales' supporters. They want more. Our president Evo has shown a great deal of skill to govern this country and has given social equality and done a lot to respect our rights. The carnival-like atmosphere raised hopes that Congress will approve a bill paving the way for this major constitutional reform. But not everyone is in favor of changing the constitution. The opposition says it's a bad move for the country. First you have to govern for the people. Then you can think election, re-election, election and another election. Let's solve the economic problems of our country first. A recent poll confirmed that 54% of Bolivians were in favor of the president running for another term. Most of the people here today form part of the traditional core that got Evo Morales elected back in 2005 and they're hoping to do the same again to keep him in office until 2025. If the bill is approved by Congress it will then be put to a referendum most likely in 2016. If that vote is also carried the next stage would be to send the bill to the National Assembly for final approval. Dimitri O'Donnell, Telesur, La Paz.